this play is Penelope's version of the Odyssey, her experience um, as the wife of Odysseus and what that actually looked like for her on a day-to-day basis. You know, it's not a rigid interpretation, it's a modern interpretation, but you'll, you'll see the motifs immediately that just say, ancient Greece. I would like people to come see the Penelope ad if um, you are interested, A, about Greek theater, because I know a lot of you Greek theater nerds are out there and you're <laughs> looking for something to <laughs> absorb. And um, if you want to see a show that feels so magical and mystical and at the same time deals with heavier topics. There are moments of humor and lightness, um, but then there are the themes that need to be spoken about. A lot of the things that we're seeing right now, like politically, in terms of like what is going on in like women's rights being taken away and stuff like that, we're using this elder text to be able to like shine a light on like modern issues still. We all can enjoy this show and also understand the harsh truths and realities of it. It goes back to that idea of fostering community, not only as a cast and a crew and a team, but as a community on Muhlenberg's campus as well. In general, I hope it makes people walk out thinking about, oh, interesting, who controls the narrative on stories like this? And just because the loudest people and the people with the most power usually control the narrative. What does it look like when the people who haven't had agency take back their narrative? You'll leave the theater feeling changed for the better.